Uh, let's look at what happens if you have a square box. So this means your L1 must be equal to L2, right? So your alpha, which is H squared over 8M, L1 squared is going to be equal to your beta. So what would be our allowed energy levels this time? What would be your ground state? E11 would be 2 alpha. 2 alpha or 2 beta. Is that what we had earlier? Oh, we did have alpha plus beta. Okay. So this time you're going to have 2 alpha, right? What's the next lowest energy level? 1 squared plus 2 squared, right? 1 squared alpha plus 2 squared alpha. Since alpha and beta are the same, so that's going to be 5 alpha. And so this corresponds to 1, 2, or same thing for n sub x equals 2, n sub y equals 1, right? So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 alpha. So we say that by making, this is something you'll generally find. When you have a symmetrical problem, okay, eigenfunctions, eigenfunctions that, tend, that are not degenerate have a tendency to become degenerate. So you get a degeneracy. We say we have a degeneracy is equal to 2 for the first excited state. There's two ways that your system, that your particle can have that much energy. Okay? N sub x equals 1, N sub y equals 2, or N sub x equals 2, N sub y equals 1. Two quantum states. So each of these represents two uh, one way, each of these represents a way that your system can have that much energy. So what would be your next uh, uh, allowed energy level? 1, 3, 3, 1, or 2, 2? Let's see. N sub x equals 2, N sub y equals 2, what would that be? Energy would be 8 alpha. So 2 squared alpha plus 2 squared beta. So that's going to be... 8 alpha, since alpha and beta are the same, so 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's just a degeneracy of 1. So you say your second excited state has a degeneracy of 1. Or we say it's non-degenerate. And this is not the only case where 1 is actually equal to 0, because you also say it's non-degenerate or singly degenerate. So when we say non-degenerate or we say singly degenerate, we actually mean the same thing. It's actually a degeneracy of 1. Okay, so it's one of those language things. Something that has a degeneracy of one is called non-degenerate or singly degenerate. What's the next uh, allowed quantum state? Next one's 10 alpha. That would be n sub x equals 1, n sub y equals or n sub x equals 3 and sub y equals 1. Right? So you can call this psi 1, 3 and psi 3, 1. Or you can use the cat notation. You can say cat 1, comma 3 okay, and cat 3, comma 1. So you can specify your wave function by just listing the quantum numbers. Right? So the next allowed energy level is going to be 9, uh, 10, 10 alpha. So that one has a degeneracy of 2. So you would say, okay, this is your ground state, ground energy level. This is your first excited energy level. You say the first excited energy level has a degeneracy of 2. The second excited energy level would have a degeneracy of 1. And the third excited energy level would have a degeneracy of 2. Okay, so... That's the pattern. All right, so here's a quick question. If you have a particle in a square box with a side of length L, what is the degeneracy of the level that has an energy equal to 5H squared over 2ML squared? That's the answer. Well, is this an allowed energy level? We have to express it, okay, but we have to express it in terms 
okay, it's n sub x squared plus n sub y squared, right? It has to be a sum of two squares, and it doesn't have to be a square. But then, look at this. Here's the trick right here. That's a 2. That's not 8. This is h squared over 8ml squared. That's your energy. So what are we saying here? That 5 must be equal to, actually 5 over 2 must be equal to n sub x squared plus n sub y squared over 8. So this expression right here must be equal to 5 over 2. So is, how can you n sub x squared and n sub y squared add up to... Uh, what are the possible values of n sub x squared and n sub y squared in this case? Let's rearrange this. So n sub x squared plus n sub y squared is equal to 40 over 2, that's 20, right? How can the sum of two squares be equal to 20? Huh? 4 and 2. 2 squared plus 4 squared is 20. Right? Or it can be 4 squared plus 2 squared. Right? So your quantum states would be n sub x equals 2, n sub y equals 4, or n sub x equals 4, n sub, n sub x equals 4, n sub y equals 2. Is there any other way you can get a sum of two squares equal to 20? So it's just 16 and 4, the two perfect squares that add up to 20. 9 and 11 won't work. Okay, so, so what's the answer to this question then? The degeneracy of this particle, uh, of this energy level is 0.5. 